The militaries of South Korea and the United States are holding their largest ever logistics drill in the southeastern city of Pohang. Our Kwon Jang-woo gets us better acquainted with Operation Pacific Reach. Wet conditions and choppy seas pound the coast of South Korea's southeastern port city of Pohang. And 400 meters off the shore is stationed a floating platform with a bridge leading up to it. It's a temporary wharf that can be set up in a day and a half and promptly connected to land within two hours. This makeshift facility has been conceived as a countermeasure in the case of North Korea destroying an operational port. It can withstand two-meter-high waves and carry armored vehicles weighing up to 100 tons. A pipe is also connected from 16 kilometers away to stock fuel. By deploying supplies and equipment in a timely manner, it can contribute to the theater of operations and ensure a victory in a war. This is part of the largest ever South Korea-U.S. joint military logistics drill called Operation Pacific Reach that began on Monday. Amid rising tensions on the Korean Peninsula, 1,200 South Korean soldiers and 2,500 U.S. troops have been mobilized to take part in these exercises, along with some 150 vehicles and 400 tons of transported supplies. The drills, defensive in nature, are also aimed at preparing the military to assist in disaster relief efforts and humanitarian emergencies around the world. The exercises are scheduled to carry on until April 21st. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.